so today I have a tutorial for you. I decided to do another look with the Naked Smoky palette. This is what I came up with, I think, can you see? I mainly used Armour and High with a little bit of Dagger and 13 in added into the mix. Shout out to Benefit Roller Lash because I absolutely love it, love this little sample that I got. Definitely getting the full size when this runs out because very much a love. This lipstick is freaking gorgeous. First time I'm using it actually and it's like this gorgeous mauvey shade. Love. It's from Anna Sui. It's gorgeous. You will see in the video. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Take it away, parceling. So I'm going to start off with a primer. I'm using this L'Oreal Infallible Mattifying Base Primer. A good size amount. Oh, sorry about the light. That much. I'd say it's like two peas worth. So then just dot it all over the face. Oh, it's warm in my room so the primer's really li liquidy. Sometimes it's a bit creamier when it's colder in the mornings. But it is Sunday afternoon so I'm just smoothing it all over the face. And it sets up a nice base for the foundation. So for foundation, I'm going to be using the Revlon Colour Stay. This one is the normal dry skin one, and it is in number 220, which is natural beige. So I'm just going to pour a little bit, ah, that is way too much. A little bit. Let's put some back in the hand. Good thing I have clean hands. So probably that much. It was about 10 pence a piece, which I think is about the same size as a nickel in the US. I am going to be using my Real Techniques buffing brush to apply, so just dip it into the foundation and then start dabbing all over the primed face. So I like to dab first, or stipple as we like to say in the makeup world, and you're basically just dabbing. <laughs> There's not really much else to say, so you just doing this but on the skin surface with the product. So I just like to dab all over the skin. And because this is pretty good match I don't need to go down my neck too much because it just is the same colour as my skin which is always a good thing. So any remaining product on the brush you just want to slowly buff into the skin. <laughs> so now I'm just doing circular motions all over the face. And this blends the product and also it stops any sort of harsh lines forming. So like when you stipple you might see a lot of dots. If you stipple really well and you just sit here and just keep dabbing like this all the time, you will lose all the dots and everything like that, so it is another technique to just keep going with. If you've got the time, I find that it takes a good 10 minutes just doing your foundation, whereas if you buff a little bit, it takes like a quarter of the time to perfect the skin of your foundation. So mostly my skin looks fine. I've got a few little blemishes I want to cover up. I'm just going to use my Dermablend stick corrector and this is how much I've got left of it. I mean I can't push it up anymore. So I'm just going to go under the eyes and, and extra blemishes that I need to cover. There's a big one on my chin there. Around the mouth a bit around the nose too. And then I'm just going to go back with my buffing brush and just stipple these out because I don't want, I want to press the makeup into the skin but I don't want to smooth it all over and sheer it out because the whole point of having the concealer is to put a thicker layer on the areas that need it. So just dab gently and make sure you just mainly go around the edge of the blemish or the imperfection that you're trying to cover up and then it sort of just blends out into the rest of the foundation rather than shearing out the product too much. Under the eyes um, you will probably need to get in with your finger 
just melt it, warm it up a bit. It's actually really warm in my room right now, so all my makeup is quite nicely softened into the skin. Right, so I'm just gonna go with my ring finger underneath the eye to blend that out. Get rid of the dark circle. So now I'm using the Vichy Derma Blend Setting Powder, and this is a translucent white powder. So that's what it looks like. So I'm gonna use this brush, which is just a tapered powder brush. I think this one is from Sigma, I'm not sure. I've just applied the powder to the brush, and then I'm just gonna sweep it on to the face, but very lightly. So just adhering to the curves of the face. And you want to sweep it on lightly and gently because you don't want to rub all the makeup off onto the brush. You're trying to add the powder. So in some places you can just sort of press it. So the places that I really need to add the powder is around my nose and around my mouth and chin area. I find that these are the places that the foundation sort of wears out the quickest. And then don't forget the forehead. My forehead usually stays fine <laughs> all day. So moving on to bronzer. You guys have probably seen this loads because this, I keep using it but it's the NARS Laguna bronzer. I load up the brush with the bronzer and then I usually go in from where like your sideburn starts in and then down the sides of the nose around the top of the forehead and then on the jawline too And sometimes a little bit underneath that shaded area. And then just a little touch under the lip. Under the bottom lip. Just there. <laughs> and then we go back to the tape powder brush. And just blend it all in a bit. Okay, so before I add on blush and everything else, we're going to do eyes next. So, let me zoom you in, and I will take you through the eyes. We're going in with Soft Ochre Pink Pot by MAC. Just going to use my ring finger. I was going to say my middle finger, but it's definitely not my middle finger. And applying on both eyelids. I can't believe how creamy it is. So I'm just going to blend them all over the eyelids nicely. And the other one as well. So starting with armour and the fluffy brush, I'm just going to swipe a little bit and I'm going to start from the outer edge and blend into the crease. So same thing, just blending into the crease, starting with the outer edge. So now we're going to take a little bit of dagger on the same fluffy brush and I'm just going to apply in the corners and deepen the crease. I think it looks really pretty. So apply from the outer corner and deepen that crease. Blend loads and then when you think you've blended enough just blend a little bit more. So then you want to take some of 13, which is the lightest shade and also a matte shade, and I'm just going to apply it underneath the brow bone as a mini highlight and blend. So the next shade we take is high, and you either want to use the pencil end of the brush or you want to take a flat shade of brush. Like so, this is the MAC 212, so I'm just going to use that. And you just want to apply from the inner corner to the centre. This brightens the eye up so much, especially once you've done the dark outer edge. You need to have a bright eye, and I love that it's shimmery, because it really reflects the light and brightens your eyes so much and pretty. Okay, so now I'm actually using the pencil brush. I'm going to take a bit more of high 
and go on the inner corner and down and this helps to really open up the eye and then going back to the flat shader and armour I'm just going to use touch on the tip there and I'm just adding it right on the lower lash line And what I like to do is lean my finger to have control. So for a little bit of eyeliner, I've got the Scandalize Coal Pencil. And I'm just going to run it across the top of my lashes. So I'm literally just running it through where my lash line is. And I don't know if you can tell the difference, but this one just looks more dramatic. It just adds a little bit more depth to the eye. And then I'm just going to line my waterline as well. For lashes, I've got the Benefit Roller Lash. This is a little sample bottle. It's really cute. And I actually really like this mascara. Look at this wand. Can you even see? It's like curly and it's so cool. So I've got to fix the brows. So I'm using my really old HD brows kit, a flat square brush, and I'm just going to use this dark brown here. And then I just sort of, I, I generally start on the edge and then feather out and work my way up to the arch. I'm quite happy that my brows have this natural arch. And then we just go in and fill that section and then brow drama I'm sorry if most of the products that I've been using lately in the tutorials have been the same the brow drama there <laughs> get a tissue the reason is it's because I actually really like them so I use them lots for cheeks we are going with this blush. It's Max Daft Pink, which is such a cute name, I love it. This blush is like a rosy pink with gold veining. And again, I'm using this tape brush. I'm just going to load it up with Daft Pink. And then I'm just going from the apples just above where I put the bronzer, pretty much. Because you've got quite cold eyes, you do want to warm up the cheeks. This is the e.l.f. Complexion Perfection. It's got four colours, so you've got pink, blue, yellow and green. And the powder comes off white. And what I like to do with this is just light it, light it, slide it underneath the eye area. I mainly go for the yellow correctional powder because it combats against the dark circles if they decide to peek through again. But also, the powder there stops smudging from the eyeliner and mascara. I always find that mascara smudges in my eyes, even with like waterproof mascara, and I don't know why. And you can't tell that you've powdered down, but you know, and you can be safe and assured that your mascara will not smudge onto your face very easily. Okay, so I think the last thing is a lipstick. I actually haven't tried this lipstick yet my gorgeous Anna Sui lipstick that I purchased. It's a star! <laughs> it smells gorgeous. I like that this lipstick isn't too... isn't too pigmented. So it's a soft movie shade which is gorgeous. You can add lashes to this look. I picked out these ones um, to use if I was going to so they're more of a natural day look so this is the final look I hope you enjoyed watching I hope you like the look and that is the picture I'm t sending tweeting snapping 
but if you want to follow me on Snapchat, I do mostly snap every day, then follow me, it's Ling2P. Yeah, hopefully. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe and remember, what do stars do? They shine. I wonder if I could draw a star on my lip. <laughs> mm -hmm. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. So, yeah, that's my life right now. So, I'm using the Vichy Derma Blend. Blah, blah. So, you can see how unread my hair is compared to my red top. It just looks brown and gross. But not like a nice brown, like a gross brown. I either need to buy another box dye and dye over it again. Because look, this top bit's still red. And then this has gone yucky, browny, weird, brown, gold. But it's not gold, it's like brown. <laughs> or is that just the lighting? It might just be the lighting. Wow, it makes me look like I have giant boobies. <laughs> Ooh, my friend's baking. Protein brownies, yum yum yum. Stick corrector in front. I've actually lost my phone. Where's my phone? Phone, phone, where are you? Phone! Oh, are you under my pillow? No. Where is my phone? Oh, it's right behind me. <laughs> what is this face? I don't know.